coming at you. Gonna make some original bubble tea. I found a recipe online for your own tapioca pearls because in Oneonta, there's no such thing as finding um, things like that in the store. But they do carry tapioca starch, which you need six tablespoons of. I'm going to put that in a bowl. black food coloring unfortunately so my um my uh pearls are going to be white all right and then i have water boiling right now and after that boils add it oh So I'm going to add two tablespoons of boiling water to the tapioca flour. And then we're going to mix it up. And I'm going to keep this water on the stove because I'm going to need to boil the tapioca pearls. Whew, the texture of this. I have a weird texture thing about flour. Oh. Oh. It's making into dough kind of nicely. It's a little loose, but it's okay. It gives me the chills. But boba's worth it. Stay together. Maybe I need to add some more water. I may add some more water. Let's try this. Let's see if we come together now. Oh. Today I'm going to make an a London Fog boba tea. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to boil some Earl Grey tea. I'm going to transfer my dough here to my cutting board. And it's still kind of falling apart, so maybe I need to add a little bit more water. I don't know if it's going to stay together. Let's see. Try that. This is a little better. It's thicker. Well, that's staying together nicely. Awesome. So it calls for six tablespoons of tapioca flour and two tablespoons of water, but I'm finding that um, the two tablespoons of water is not quite enough. So. I think I did about four tablespoons of water and it looks like it's staying together pretty nicely now. So I'm going to split up my dough, oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna split up my dough into two strands, I guess you could say. And I'm going to cut it when I get it thin enough. Okay. Now I'm going 
going to cut my pieces and make four little tattoo balls. This side of the dough seems pretty good. Like I said, my tapioca balls are just going to be white. That's okay. First time trying this out. I was inspired earlier. My friend Abby posted that she had gotten bubble tea. And um, uh, there's not really many places around me right now that are open. Well that sell bubble tea and if they do um, it's loaded with sugar and um, a lot of extra additives and I'm just not about that life so my recipe is pretty much all natural the only sweetener that you'll find in my bubble tea is maple syrup and um, even though it is sugar it it is an all natural sugar. So I feel a little bit better about having that than um, regular sugar. Alright, so I have a decent amount of bubbles here. Um, and I'm going to try and boil the ones that I've made so far just to see how they do. See if they last. So that's boiling. So they have to boil for about 15 minutes. You can see the tapioca pearls are um, doing pretty well. They're staying together, which is a plus. All right, so now I'm going to make uh, the tea. I'm going to use Earl Grey tea and brew it. And then I'm going to add almond milk unsweetened vanilla almond milk and maple syrup. going to soak the tapioca pearls in this maple syrup after they come out. There's a little bit of water and maple syrup in here just so that they can get some sweet flavor. Alright, now my tea has been brewed. Earl Grey tea. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the tapioca balls at the very bottom along with my tea. Oh, it gets a little messy. I'm going to add my almond milk. And there is my boba tea. Tapioca pearls are at the bottom. Let's add this little bit of tea here. All right, I might need to add some ice cubes. Mmm, so good. 
Your turn.